All right, guys, welcome back to the Gemini 888 channel. And uh, <clears throat> today, obviously, you can see right in front of you, we're going to be talking all about the death of the WWE uh, Survivor Series. And uh, shout out to my buddy, The Wiz, on Facebook, WWE vs. TNA Facebook page. And we go back and forth, we bounce ideas off each other. And uh, we came up with an idea to kind of talk about the uh, decline of the Survivor Series. Um, what it was, Survivor Series 87, and what it is, Survivor Series 2013, with uh, Randy Orton The Big Show, which was the worst Survivor Series of all times. So we'll get to that here in a minute. Um, first things first, I wanted to let you guys know a few things. Of course, you can follow me on Gemini888 on Twitter, and I would love for you to tweet at me and see what the heck is going on. And also on Facebook at Vincent Flair, drop me a line and let me know what the heck is going on. Um, also on WrestlingDVDNews.com, they have pictures of the new uh, Slam City DVD, if you guys are interested in picking that up. It looks pretty cool, episodes 1 through 26. Um, it has a pretty cool look behind it, like I said, there's exclusive pictures on WrestlingDVDNews.com of New Slam City. And uh, also, I want to let you guys know, very soon, very soon, not too long from now, two, two and a half weeks or so, and we're going to be able to get the Macho Man Story uh, DVD. So, a lot of good things coming. And I will have, I will be all over the Macho Man DVD uh, like there's no tomorrow. Let's see. Attitude Era DVD and Blu ray. Uh, I finished watching it last night, all 7 hours and 30 minutes on the Blu ray. Uh, disc 1 is loaded with tons of matches. It was a fantastic DVD. Just, I mean, when I watched it, I was completely uh, comfortable. And I didn't blink an eye for a minute. And I watched it, and I felt like I was in 1998 again. And it was just uh, fantastic. It was it was really worth uh, buying. I know a lot of people are going to come back and say, "Well, I have it on the network. I don't need it." Trust me, you're going to want this DVD for Christmas if nobody's got it for you, or if you haven't got it for yourself. Get this one for Christmas. I swear, it took me two and a half days to finish watching the thing from start to finish, but in the end, it was absolutely spectacular. So, I'm going to speak some truth on the Survivor Series. Uh, the uh, Survivor Series event, wow. Yeah, back in 1987, 88, 89, 90, 91, and even you know, as far back as 1992 with Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels, it was a special, it was a special event. It was, uh, it was special. And I remember the way they used to do Survivor Series back in the day is they would do it on Thanksgiving uh, night and uh, the theme behind it when they would really put it over was you eat your turkey, you have your dinner, and then you need something to do, you watch Survivor Series. And it really worked. It really worked. Survivor Series was a, a special event, and I can remember Jesse the Body Ventura back in the day uh, talking about uh, Survivor Series is always an interesting event to see who's going to survive and how teams are going to coexist. And it was a very interesting concept that say has been dwindled down to no more than uh, one traditional Survivor Series match and uh, uh, basically singles matches but back in the day it used to be all, all tag team wrestling it used to be just you'd have co-captains like for instance right here on Survivor Series 88 co-captain Macho and Hogan and they had a team of all the good guys, you know, Hercules, Coco Beware, Hillbilly Jim, versus Akeem and the Big Boss Man, the Million Dollar Man, King Haku and the Red Rooster. I mean, it was just loaded with these awesome, badass tag team matches. And it was loaded from top to bottom. In the early Survivor Series, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, it was Don't Miss TV. But somewhere along the line, the WWE kind of killed Survivor Series when they got away from the traditional tag team matches and they started going just to singles matches. 
it made the Survivor Series not special anymore because people always ordered the Survivor Series to see who was really going to survive. But then they got away from that and it wasn't about uh, surviving anymore. My opinion is they should probably just change the name because it's not Survivor Series anymore. It's not about a series of survival matches, what team is going to coexist, what wrestler is going to face a four-on-one situation. It's not about any of that anymore. There's no survival in it. It's just, it's just become another pay-per-view. It's lost its luster. It's lost its mojo. It's lost everything, and it's become another pay-per-view that this year the WWE is just giving away on the network for, for free. I think a lot of the decline of Survivor Series has to do with our economic times. I think back in the day people would order Survivor Series on pay-per-view, maybe not so much thinking about using that money for Christmas, but I think people now, having tougher times economically, uh, would rather save their money and buy more Christmas presents and say order a WWE pay-per-view. I mean that could be a legitimate reason because they run it so late in the year and so people want to save their money for Christmas and people want to spend money on Thanksgiving dinner and they're not necessarily concerned about the Survivor Series. But I could tell you being a bit of a wrestling historian that this was a once proud and great event that has declined into just another pay-per-view. I mean, I could remember five or six years ago, there was a lot of discussion on even ending the Survivor Series. So, you know, it was a it was a proud event. You know, it, it, it was very special. And it's just become just another show where it looks like the WWE in the past five or six years has just put minimal effort in the Survivor Series. This used to be, honestly, this used to be the third biggest uh, pay-per-view of the year. It, it was. I mean, it was right up there with Royal Rumble. It was right up there with uh, SummerSlam. It was right up there with WrestleMania. Every year back, you know, 20, 25 years ago, the Survivor Series was special. It was very special. Something cool always happened at the Survivor Series. The biggest mistake that they made behind the Survivor Series was taking away the tag team traditional elimination matches, which the fans just loved, uh, adored. You know, they, they took that away. You know, 87 was awesome with Andre's team versus Hulk's team. You know, it was very special. You know, 1988 was very special with the Mega Powers versus Akeem and the Boss Man. What this Survivor Series 88 did was it set up heat for the eventual feud between Macho and Savage at, you know, WrestleMania 5. The Mega Powers explode in Atlantic City, New Jersey. You know, WrestleMania 89 was weird. You know, because, or excuse me, Survivor Series 89 was weird because you had wrestlers kind of coming and going. It was the Heenan family, you know, versus uh, the Warrior. And it was a little bit strange. But still, you know, it was, it was still special. It was in Chicago. You know, it was a hot wrestling crowd. Survivor 90 was a very unique concept in Hartford. You know how they have, they had the ultimate survival match. Survivor 91 had a lot of tag team matches and it, it turned to the gravest challenge with The Undertaker and Hulk Hogan. And that's kind of where they started going singles matches, but still Survivor Series 91 in Detroit is very special. Survivor Series 92 was a, a down period for the WWE, you know, but still Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels wrestled their asses off. And they still had some tag team matches up there, but that was more of a singles event. It was the first time. 93 was in Boston, and it was it was tag team matches. WWF was really down. 94, you know, was in San Antonio, and they started kind of, you know, doing things a little different. But still, you had Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels in tag team action. And, you know, they, they main evented with Undertaker and Yokozuna as Chuck Norris' referee. 95 was just weird. WWF was really desperate at the time. So they were trying wild card matches and different combinations of teams. But 95 Survivor Series was actually special. 96 was in New York. They had some tag team matches. And of course, Sean and the, uh, the big man, Psycho Sid, uh, wrestled for the belt. And Sid took the belt off Sean. 97 was in Montreal, November the 9th. And we're coming up on the anniversary of that. You know, and everyone will always remember Survivor Series 97 gang rules. Very expensive tape. Everybody will remember that for Brett and Sean. 98, the, uh, I'm trying to make my DVDs not fall here. Ah, it's like dominoes. 
Uh, 98 Dead the Game Tournament was an epic fail. The tournament was stupid and not nearly as good as the WrestleMania 4 tournament. Uh, 99, you know, you, you got this one and, you know, you had Austin injured and so you had the big show step in there and win the belt. Survivor Series 2000 was in uh, Tampa and it came down to Triple H and Austin, which was a very good match. And then they had the weird car thing at the end where Austin, you know, dropped the thing on Triple H's car or Triple H's car fell. 2001 was the year of the Alliance. And this is when it starts going, uh, you know, a little bit downhill for me. 2002 with the Elimination Chamber was awesome, but it really had nothing to do with the Survivor Series concept. 2003 Survivor Series was okay. It was nice to see John Cena and Carlito having their big feud, and I always thought that Goldberg and Triple H had a pretty good match. 2004 was Orton, you know, versus Triple H. 2005 was the return of The Undertaker when Matt Hardy no sold him. 2006, you know, it was cool to see Triple H put Punk over. 2007, you know, it was cool to see Edge come back with a crazy beard. Uh, 2008, you know, Cena, of course, you know, came back and beat Chris Jericho for the belt, but really had nothing to do with the concept. In 2008 on, it really started declining. 2009, you know, you had DX versus uh, John Cena, which was interesting, except it was really weird in the main event how Shawn Michaels instantly turned on uh, Triple H and went at it with John Cena. If DX was really cohesive like they were back in the day, they would have done a number on Cena. 2010 was cool, not memorable though. It was, you know, Wade Barrett, Randy Orton, John Cena as a referee. John Cena got fired, whatever, and came back like two weeks later. So totally killed the the buying behind 2000. And, <coughs> uh, it, it, it killed it on 2010 Survivor Series because. John Cena was back in two weeks. 2011, you know, you had uh, CM Punk win the belt from Del Rio, but a singles match, not among the lines of the Survivor Series concept. You know, 2012, you know, you had, a, you know, the Nexus debut, or not the Nexus debut, the uh, Shield debut, which was cool. Uh, 2013 was the Randy Orton and the Big Show. So we'll wrap this and say, you know, the Survivor Series honestly was a special event, very special, just a spectacular uh, event, but really, really declined when they got away from the Survivor Series concept. So, anyways, that's going to do it for the death of the Survivor Series. And uh, I'm Gemini. Please subscribe to the channel and check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Links are in the description box. And I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm Gemini. Peace out.